All right, folks. We got another teardown for you today. Here we got a Black & Decker toaster oven. We've had this for about three years. It's been really good to us, but my wife just noticed this happening, so it's not plugged in. I'm going to plug it in now. Okay. Can you even see that? It just keeps hitting the um, the temperature up button. It just does that nonstop. So we bought a new a new not the new not the same one, but we got a a different brand. So this one's gotta go. So let's tear it apart. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Screws off that first. Um, uh, so first, I'm gonna get off outer panel. Um, there's a security bit in there. Maybe getting Torx. It's not. It's not actually Torx. It's some kind of security thing, but this Torx happens to fit it. Figure that out before I make this video. All right, done. for the front panel. This drill is so heavy, it's hard to aim it. Let's get rid of this thing. It's annoying me. Alright, so what can we get off now? Ooh, that's coming off. Oh. Ah. Let's see. It's right here. Oh, I wish I had cleaned the desk right now. Black color, you can't see. Oh, oh, it's getting there. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. That's really wobbly. Uh, oh, the feet have a You see what I'm doing here? Well, that looks like the convection fan. Um, this is our controller board here. Something wrong happened there. And these are just relays for powering the thing up. All right, let's keep going. No, I'm talking to myself. Interesting. So where is our temperature button? So these are just contact buttons in here. I don't see anything wrong with this. Yeah, I'm typically I have a failure like this. I take the electronics out and I just usually see nothing wrong. It's just something internal beyond my expertise. So they've cut out the board in here, so they're definitely isolating the high voltage mains from the rest of this. Um, well, it's pretty simple there. So there's a little transformer here. That is what powers this board. So maybe I can plug this in. Leave everything else unplugged, all the high voltage stuff, but let's try it. Let's see if we can get this thing beeping again. Alright, so Alright, so this green is from our little transformer and that plugs in to this con one right here. 
up oh, or down all the way. All right, so we're gonna plug that in. All right, um, this is probably a bad idea what I'm about to do. Uh, is this is this a bad idea? I've got all these connectors dangling that are gonna be high voltage. Ah, uh, why not? All right, so I plugged in a nice little voltage line there. I'm gonna plug you in. Still doing it. So, hmm. So here's the temperature up and down button. Sorry, I have glue all over my fingers. So I'm gonna push the down button. I'm holding it. Ah, so it stops. So that's not a bad button. I'm gonna do the up. Oh. It also stops. So none of these buttons are actually bad. If any of them were like shorted out, that wouldn't do anything and that wouldn't do anything. So there's something logic level that's bad. Interesting. So I've decided I'm not done yet here. <laughs> I want to tear this down even more. So let's keep going. This is kind of pretty. Oh, shit, I'm gonna break that. Let's be a little careful. That's just a cooling fan there. There's our convection fan. Oh. Yeah, that's just for the uh, temperature sensor. There it is. That's cool. Wow, that is a rough. The metal on that is so rough. So jagged. This is so cheap. Holy moly. But I like that little motor, that's kind of cool. We'll save that. Wow. Done. What else are we gonna take apart now? Oh wait, I forgot about this. That has to go in the pile too. 
What's next? Ooh, maybe that coffee maker machine.